Greetings and welcome back to Cities Skylines Natural Disasters. Yes, apparently they are natural disasters. I may have missed that out last time, although frankly I have my suspicions about just how natural they are, with such nefarious foes wandering around the place as the Hobo Wizard, or should I call him the Hobo Boris. We know who you are, Boris. We know your true identity and you shall not um, cause us any more strife. Uh, well, you might do in the form of natural disasters. But so far, no natural disasters have struck. Uh, what is currently the case is that we have no power, but I think that's just because we haven't developed yet uh, everywhere. We're looking for some buildings here, look. We need this plot, preferably to be built, or this plot might work as well. Uh, so if we could get some developers in to do that, please. Uh, as soon as possible. As soon as possible, should we, um... Should we just, like, clear that so that it's... Maybe like, no, not green. Blue. Blue is the colour, and the colour is blue. We don't want to, like, make this slope too crazy. I don't even know if they're going to build there. They might do. Uh, wow, the news has gotten very dramatic. Should we see what's going on with, with Tweety? Um, I can already see more birds and plants in the city thanks to the use of hashtag green energy. Well... I would imagine, if anything, there are less birds and plants in the city. What with the fact that there was no city here before. Genetically manipulated corn grows three times faster than regular corn. Organic food lobbyists hungry for negative impacts. Um, wow. Okay, well, we'll see. Look, power is now flowing to the city. How wondrous is that? Uh, checking our demands. We could do with a bit of industry, actually. We are going to need somewhere for the people to work. Um, and although I said last time that we weren't going to build a Glasgow, what we could maybe do, outside connection needed. Please connect your city to a highway. Connections this way, people can move in and transport goods into your city. I believe we are connected to the highway. As you can see, clearly highway connection exists. So, um, you know, stop with your nonsense. Stop with all of your nonsense. Undoubtedly, people can come and go as they please. Um, yeah, so instead of building Glasgow, the magnificent second city of Scotland, and indeed, second city of the United Kingdom, um, or third city possibly, I think Birmingham might be bigger, but anyway, uh, in this particular Snow Britannia world of wizarding, I think Glasgow might be regu re relegated uh, to basically being an industrial estate. Sorry, Glasgow. Uh, there's just no room to fit a whole city in here, but what we do need is somewhere to do a bit of industry. We can kind of plonk it over here. It's, I don't think it's exactly where Glasgow is anyway, but... You know, we're going to call it the Glaswegian Industrial Estate. Um, deal with it. Uh, let's have a branch road coming off down here. Not there, apparently. That's not allowed. How about... Uh, can be curvy. You want, want it to be curvy. How about here? Just come like that. Down. Weave down. Close to the border. Don't want to disrupt, like, any of these trees and stuff. And the beauty of Wizard's Ferry... Oh, no. Wizard's Ferry is far too important for that. Let's like a gently curving back and forth road. Uh, and then maybe just tuck it down in this bit of valley here. So it can kind of contain the pollution and stuff. That sounds like a great idea. So down here. Uh, and then we'll go to like straight roads for the actual Glaswegian industrial estate itself. Because um, they're more efficient and more industrially. So we'll go like that. Go like that. A little industrial square the Glaswegian industrial square um, hopefully far enough away that all of the uh, horrendous pollution and stuff of the various wizarding industrial activities will be contained uh, so industry yes all in here throughout the middle uh, we can put some along the side here as well uh, and some along the back I guess like that there we go just in case we want to extend it I'll leave those roads available look have like some like sewage outflow over here or something possibly if we wanted to keep the, the Glaswegian sewage separate from the rest of uh, all of the good people of the world. They're going to need power so let's have a power thing come through the forest here like that. There we go. Uh, they're going to want water as well I imagine those, those water guzzling Glaswegian um, industrial folk it's, it's going to be the industrial heartland I don't know what you're complaining about it's going to be the industrial heartland of new snow Britannia you know it's going to be wonderful 
people are going to love it there. We're not actually, no one's going to live there. They're just going to go there, do put a hard day's work in down the wizard factory, making potions and magical items and all of the other stuff that wizarding industry entails. And um, yeah, and then they'll come home and it'll be good. Let's unpause it. I don't know why I paused it. See more information about buildings and vehicles. We don't need to see more information. Okay, so we have more commercial demand as well than we currently are satisfying. Um, we could put maybe a little bit more commerce here, then sort of like the road down into Wizard Ferry. We're going to have to put a ferry here as well, aren't we? Is it possible to build ferries? I hope it's possible to build ferries. And I hope this, like, third to fourth is actually big enough for a ferry to go in. I mean, people could just go round, obviously, but you know, who would do a thing like that? Look, let's just take a moment as the sun sets in the distance to take in the magnificence and the beauty of Snow Britannia. A new land, bringing new life and new vigor to a once abandoned world. Is the sun setting in the east? It is, you know, the sun is setting in the east. That's east. Clearly, the ramifications of Brexit slash the freezing of Britannia um, are more severe than we had previously realized. The Earth's rotation has actually been reversed. No wonder the climate has gone crazy. Look, there's a boat out there as well. Plus, loads of people using this motorway, far more than are actually coming down into Snow Britannia and Wizard's Ferry and stuff. Um, it goes from like Scandinavia over here, like, like Sweden, I think probably. Um, and in fact, it goes straight up north into the Arctic Circle as well over there. I don't know. I don't know why. It just does. Um, and it also reaches uh, across to mainland Europe in the south. What is a plane flying over or something? Wow. It really is very pretty, isn't it? It's very pretty. A super pretty place uh, in all of its places and wonders and things. And so far, the weather's been pretty good. I mean, it's been bright and sunny. Yeah, it's cold. The Aurora Borealis is out, lighting up the sky above new wizard's ferry the people the fresh settlers heroes of this new world are bathed in the eerie magical glow of the heavens truly they are blessed as we all are to live in this place and this time heroes one and all wizards but most of all citizens of snow britannia Long live the wizard and all the peoples of this land. Sorry, I'm getting carried away now. It's the music. What can I tell you? What music are we listening to? Europa Univalis. Oh, I can have to get that. It's got amazing music. Um, and frankly, I could do with more, <laughs> more games to play. Yeah, I know. All right, maybe I won't get Europa Univalis at Universalis just now. Maybe at some point in the future. We'll see. Time, if time allows, um, which is... Oh, wait a minute, I'm losing money. Let's stop. Let's stop talking about other things. Uh, we need to boost our residential at the moment because we are we're a little bit low. Maybe we should put a little bit of residential into the Glaswegian industrial estate because um, I don't want to over expand over here before you know before getting to the point where we can expand somewhere else. Um, so we'll put just a little bit in. We'll get a road coming up here like this. Uh, we'll get it to go a little bit curvy. People can live above, look, up here. This is going to be lovely. They're going to like this. Like that. There we go, look. And then we just put some houses in up here. Houses there, houses there. It's not going to be like the best place in the world but if you live like right on the cusp of the Glaswegian industrial estate looking down on it which is hopefully like magical forces will constrain constrain all of the pollution down here in the valley and like those like wizards who live up on the high bit here looking down we can maybe even have some living all the way up here look at this uh, well, they're gonna need water let's just make sure they've got water before we get crazy space is already occupied what about this space go up the hill and look, we can actually back across there 
we might have a few houses dotted around in Loch Lomond and the Trossachs, but this is definitely, we don't want to build this area up. And the industrial estate is already kind of dangerously close. Uh, are we getting power issues as well? We are, oh, look, we, we are going to need a second wind turbine. Um, already, the power demands of the frozen world we find ourselves in outstripping our available supply. We'll stick another one up here on Arthur's seat. <laughs> it's going to be the, um, the the wind turbine place of choice, I think, for the time being. We could probably put one over here as well, on these hills. There's lots of hills. Let's face it. We're in Scotland. We're not going to have a lack of hills to put things on. In fact, we should probably have like a massive wind farm up on Ben Nevis. It's going to be like Ben Nevis's primary... Can we actually put them up here, look? Oh, we totally can. We can have, we can have wind farms uh, all over, wind turbines all over Ben Nevis. I mean, this could be this could be the greatest idea ever. This could be an idea that might actually migrate from the wonderful wizarding world of Snow Britannia into the real world. You know, does anybody know anyone? Uh, Scottish government, maybe, could go and have a chat. Say, look, best plan, the beautiful unspoiled beauty and nature of Ben Nevis is being wasted right now. It's being utterly wasted. What we need is wind turbines all over it in order to harness the many winds and turn it into electricities uh, and use those electricities for wonderful things. Many wonderful things. We're still losing money, unfortunately, but we are now at least a little hamlet. Congratulations. Population of 260. Uh, great, we've got some services available to us now, including snow dumps, which we're gonna have to make. Um, I mean, we kind of we still need to expand population-wise, probably quite rapidly. Uh, let's get let's get a road up here. Let's see if we can do this. It's gonna be oh yeah, come on, come on, not too steep. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be done. Oh yes, who's going to get to live up here? This is going to be the best place. The best place for anyone to live anywhere. Can we maybe like put a little bit of straight road on the end just to, just to give us a slightly bigger house up here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's going to be magnificent. Look, let's have a couple of houses, three houses at the top here. Um, we'll have houses running all the way up. We might as well, eh? I don't know if they'll actually be able to build them into the side of the mountain here, but we're going to put them down anyway. It, actually, like, New Glasgow slash the Glaswegian Industrial Estate is starting to look bigger and more impressive than Wizard's Ferry, um, which is fine. That's kind of the way it should be, really, thinking about it. Can, like, see if houses pop up on these ones. That would be a place to live. Look, a single plot just exposed on the side of this peak with the like the Atlantic Ocean out there, unfettered. The sun rising in the west, mysteriously as it does. Beautiful views across to Ireland, the Isle of Mystery and Wonder and uh, lack of time to actually add most of the mystery and wonder that we might have wanted to have there. It does have a lot of mushrooms, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure it's got a massive forest. Quite a few mushrooms as well. Um, so we'll, we'll get there eventually. We will go to Ireland. I mean, as long as people want me to go to Ireland and continue watching and uh, express interest in seeing the wonderful Isle of Ireland uh, added to Snow Britannia um, in a wizarding way, obviously. Outside connection needed. There is an outside... Is that... The, is it because these aren't connected? Is that what it's complaining about? It might be that's what it's complaining about. Um, I will... I will have to expand up there. We can do something just on this side. Maybe we can have like, this could be like South Wizards Ferry and we can put North Wizards Ferry just here. Um, over here somewhere is St. Andrews, I think. St. Andrews is around here somewhere. And um, that'd be good. It'd be good to have St. Andrews in. Uh, maybe call it something else. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, up here we've got sort of a space for Inverness, Loch Ness, which we looked at last time. There's so many wonderful places to expand to. It's going to be fantastic. We are actually making money as well now. Brilliantly. We're making 79 wizard bucks a week. Uh, power is stable, although we are going to need to keep that, uh, keep that in check. We should probably, like, do a bit more building even. Um, did we... Put, we did put water for all of these. That's good. Uh, let's put a few more houses in here. 
like there as well, like there as well. Let's see if any of these actually build. Um, we could do with a bit more industry. Let's put a bit more industry in then. Just there. Yeah. That's going to have to be it, I think, for the extent of the, <laughs> for the Glaswegian industrial estate. <coughs> That's going to have to be it, I'm afraid, as far as the Glaswegian industrial estate goes. Look, there's a radio station, the radio advert playing. Grazing off the lush vegetation of the time, their mere existence transformed the landscape and made a lasting impact on our world. It's that legacy that Dino Oil is proud <laughs> to continue by using their eons old dead bone goop to fuel your five door wagon, making it the oldest form of recycling there is. That's awesome. Dino Oil. Embrace the power of bones. Although I'm not entirely convinced it's actually dead bone goop that makes oil. Um, I think it might be plants and things, but I could be wrong about that. Or maybe microorganisms. Anyway, whatever it is, uh, it is awesome dead bone goop. Um, and we... I think there's some dead bone goop available to us. Uh, if we decide for that we want it. Where's my overlays? Overlays. Oh, here we go. Overlays. Oil. Oil. Oh, I can't select it yet. Is that because I, I haven't, like, unlocked it? I guess I can't select it because I haven't unlocked it. I'm pretty sure there's oil out there somewhere, anyway. Um, fantastic. All right, well, look, there we go. That's enough for this second episode. I think we have built the Glaswegian Industrial Estate, which is expanding into uh, a little settlement of its own right, um, adding lots of places, including, quite frankly, the best house in all of Snowtopia right now, which is this one up here. The, the house on the hill overlooking the Glaswegian Industrial Estate, overlooking the Atlantic Ocean and the mysterious land of Ireland across the water. It is currently out of focus, but it is a wonderful place to live, a wonderful place to be, a wonderful place to just sit and consider the nights of pen and paper music in the background. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Right, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I have been Weird Wizard, and I will see you later.